up, everybody? Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, everybody! I know that a lot of people were like, oh, just post it on Sunday, but like the peer pressure is real. And this she should caved. be. Yeah, I know, I know. So, I don't know. I just wanted to show you guys what we got each other for Christmas. It's just gonna be like a really easy, fun, short video. And I hope that you guys had an awesome, awesome Christmas. I'll just say, it goes without saying, like, this is not meant to be bragging. A lot of people just, like, see what other people got for Christmas. And my Instagram poll definitely proved that. It was, like, way skewed to, like, no post it ASAP. So I wanted to get you guys this video as soon as possible. But if you're new here, hello. My name is Katie. I live in Orlando. And I make, like, shopping videos, home decor videos, anything to do with, like, Target, home goods, all that sorts of stuff. So if you love videos like that, definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And, yes, we are, like, Christmas morning unshowered, just rolled out of bed, had breakfast, that sort of thing. The holidays definitely look different for us this year, as I'm sure they do for everybody, but we're still trying to do like all the traditions. Like, so last night we made my mom's ham, and then this morning we made Brian's family's Christmas, Christmas morning. morning surprise. Yeah, Christmas morning surprise, which is kind of like monkey bread, but no, he it's might not. kill me for saying that. <laughs> He's like, no, it's not, it's Christmas morning surprise. Um, but anyways, we just wanted to show you guys what we got each other for Christmas. So if you are interested in that, then just go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so I will go first. I'm just gonna like grab whatever is in front of me. Okay, well, first of all, he got me this fleece. And it's actually from Walmart. What? I mean, yeah, because we've been to Walmart in December probably five or six times. And every time, that's right on the edge of the clothing <laughs> section, right next to all the groceries. And every time we walk by, she's like, oh my God, it's still here. So... I Naturally, wanted it so I had bad. To get it. I know, and I actually wasn't, I was like really surprised. I like wasn't expecting him to get it for whatever reason. But yeah, it's from Walmart, and I just love like Sherpas like this. And it's really cute. It has like this nice, like, I don't know, like quilted detail with a zipper and some pockets, and I love it. So <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I got these sweet Lululemon golf shorts. Yep. They are the Commission Short Classic 9 inch. They're perfect. They fit perfectly. I didn't even know, but I was actually in need of more golf shorts, so these were a really good gift. Mm -hmm. They fit very well, they breathe really well, so they're gonna be perfect for the Florida temperatures, whether it's summer, spring, or winter. You could wear them next week. I can wear them next week. Well, if it's warm enough. It's really cold out today. In Florida, it's like 40 degrees, which I know some of you guys are like, haha, it's really cold, but in Boston, it's like 65 today, and it's like 40 here, so you never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> Chilly, yeah, Christmas day chills, it's okay. great. He has that, and I have this, so it's definitely cold here. Okay, next up, I'm gonna show you something that Brian is really proud of. He got me this sweater. Why are you proud of it? Because of the deal that I got on it. <laughs> so, I don't know where you guys live or if there's a Dillard's nearby, but a lot of them are closing, and this store, the entire Dillard's, was 98% off. <laughs> 98% off. I opened this like as a Christmas Eve present and like, but we didn't know like, like I knew what he was opening, but he forgot like what was in which boxes. And he was like, oh my God, I'm so glad you opened that one. It was only $3. $3 and like 67 cents. <laughs> but it's like really fuzzy and it has like the fuzzes coming off of it. And it kind of looks like cotton candy colors. It's really cute. So I'm like, it. yeah, getting her clothing is daring. So I was in this Dillard's though for like an hour looking for stuff. And I found one thing that she might like, and it was three, 367. So I'm like, all right, I'll just go for it. The next thing Brian got is a waffle maker. It's a mini waffle maker, which is great. I love pancakes, but I do prefer waffles. And we do the Kodiak pancakes all the time. And Katie says that we can actually use the Kodiak mix in this little waffle maker and make homemade ego style waffles. So this was awesome. It's cool too, because it's like another kitchen appliance, but it's really small. So you it's can mini. literally stick it in like any cabinet and it's just a good option because he can still do like, he can do waffles when I do pancakes because I like pancakes better. Let us know down below what you like better. Do you prefer pancakes or waffles? It came in like a peppermint stick style um, waffle maker, so that's cool too. Very festive. I actually showed this in one of my videos. Oh, you so did? It's a good thing you didn't see it. Okay, I'm gonna stick with the clothing. I think this is the last of the clothing. More daring items for me. Yeah, I don't, I'm gonna be honest. I'm well, not sure. Well, these were sure. from Santa, actually. Santa was daring. I'm not sure about these. They're just a couple pairs of leggings. I have to, like, try them on, but I do need new leggings, but they're just, like, very daring. These ones have, like, mesh, and then these ones, I, these are, like, so out there, like, crocodile skin something with, like, some booty <laughs> accentuation. Well, they're kind of similar to that one style that you like from that oh, one Oh yeah, the booty person. by Bra Brabants or whatever. If you're from like the Boston area, you'll probably know, but she makes these and they're called like Croco. They look really similar to this. That's, oh wow, look mm -hmm. at you go. Mm -hmm. I didn't even realize that's what you were like trying to do. Kind of. So two pairs of leggings, which are always helpful because we try to work out a lot. So it is 2020. And even though we just got a vaccine, these will be helpful. Well, we didn't get the vaccine. 
Still. That sounded like you sounded We didn't like, get a vac. No, we we're didn't. not allowed to yet. Yeah, no, not yet. She got me some masks. To I go. also showed these in the video. Did you? <laughs> yeah. I was saying how like well, I mean, you don't go to LA Fitness that much anymore, but you were saying how like you wanted those like for LA yeah, Fitness. Yeah, they're good. Those are good for like throwaways cuz like if you work out and you have to wear a mask, they want you to wear a mask in between all of your workouts. So you end up like sweating a ton into these masks. So it was yeah. nice to have the cheap ones just to throw away after like a use or two. Honestly, I just figured it was a good thing to grab like when you see it because just who knows what will happen. So it's just good to have them. Even though we have like tons of reusable ones, it's just nice to keep those like in the car and stuff. So I just wanted to go ahead and get those. This was another gift from Katie. It's called the High Performance Planner. This is my favorite planner that I use. For... We'll link it down below. It's, it's from great. Amazon. It's uh, Brendan Burchard. Um, really, really good detailed planner for every day every week every month kind of thing goal setting um kind of like mindfulness practice stuff like that really really good planner um i've used one last year and then and then kind of fell off of it when the planner got full ish um so this was good to have a brand new one to use for 2021. you date it yourself so you don't have to like it it doesn't matter if you like miss a day or a week or a month or whatever you can just start back up again it has a lot of like thought provoking questions and stuff it's like who needs me like at 100 percent today who can i reach out to today who can i surprise today like what do I need what do I need to accomplish what should I accomplish that sort of thing so it's a great planner okay so this is kind of a gift for like both of us it's from Santa but it is the Cooper's Hawk grapevine wine decanter it's so cool it's not in this box it's actually behind me over there if you can see it but it's a really really cool decanter where like when you press the button at the bottom it comes out and it just like looks really really fancy and whenever we go to Cooper's Hawk they put our wine in it and it's just like so nice to have for our new place and we love wine so it's just such a nice thing to have but it's great santa got it for me but really for both of us santa knows what's up <laughs> yeah all right so these were two separate gifts but they definitely go together one is the hot ones card game um truth or dab the game <laughs> So it's kind of like, I don't know, is it kind of like? It's like a game where like if you don't get the question right or like answer it, you have to take some of the hot sauce. So basically if you've never seen Hot Ones, they started making their own hot sauces. It's where like um, celebrities answer hot questions while they eat even hotter wings, like that's their tagline. Well, so this has the, the last dab in it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so it comes with the hot sauce. And um, last year at his like family reunion beach week, we brought some of the hot sauces from Hot Ones that we found when we were in Charleston. And everyone was like a pretty good sport and tried it. So even though like we were all miserable after it, I wanted to get the game because I was waiting for it to come back in stock and it finally did. So I went ahead and grabbed it, but it comes with like one of the hottest hot sauces in the whole world. I just thought it would be fun. And then she got with it to go their newest hottest sauce. I don't know if this is the last dab now or what, but apparently that's hotter than the last dab. So it's, it's called Apollo. Apollo pepper. Apollo peppers. No idea. Never even but. heard of that, but it sounds like definitely. <laughs> okay, so my next thing is a present for both of us. Like for this is gonna take us forever. It's like a paint by numbers. I'll go ahead and put the picture like here of what picture he got, but I'm sure you guys can see. But you actually paint it yourself. So if you like look at it like really really close i'm not sure if you guys can see it has like all the numbers and so we'll be painting it it came with all the paint and yeah so that'll be a fun project for us god forbid we like go into like crazy lockdown quarantine again this is definitely something that will keep us busy okay her big gift to me was louis. some louis v <laughs> which was great i had a really nice wallet, but a really old one. Um, it was probably like eight years old and it was high quality, so it lasted a long time, but it was definitely time for a new one. And that is exactly what she got me. Mm -hmm. It is sweet, if you guys can see it, it's black and gray. Um, absolutely high quality, amazing. It's another like 10, 15 year wallet right here. Absolutely love it. I think it's the Slender wallet, if any of you guys are interested. And it's also, which you didn't show, it is oh embroidered i was actually able to get it hot stamped on the inside which is really cool i just got his initials bpj and yeah i just wanted to get him like a nice wallet i like love louis vuitton and i don't think you have anything louis vuitton no do you you don't no. have anything so no. i wanted to get him like his first piece and a wallet is always nice it's a, always a great gift for a guy so i just wanted to get him like a really cool nice wallet okay and then my big gift which you may have seen on my finger 
Cartier. No, it's not an engagement ring, but it is a Cartier love ring. I wanted the wedding band because it is thinner and I eventually want to like stack the different colors, but I got the gold one first because gold is definitely like my favorite metal and then eventually like white gold and rose gold. <laughs> so different present ideas, but yeah, I just love it so much. It's so pretty and I have it on my middle finger and hope to stack them someday, but yeah, it's so pretty. Literally like the box is crazy. I swear you like pay for like the box and like the certificate of authenticity because it's like this like red leather box and it kind of like it like has all the gold on the top like gold foil and then you press this button and it pops open and like the ring was right there and it's really really pretty Brian had it like hidden in the bottom of the present pile so it was like the very last thing I opened whereas like his was kind of like hidden in the middle and when he opened it he's like oh my god this is like my big present and wasn't like expecting it to come like at that time whereas like I was opening my presents but I didn't know if I was gonna get this honestly I didn't know so well, at first you were like, let's open the Santa gifts first. And I was like, ah. Oh. And then you're like, no, let's go upstairs and open those first. I was like, yes. But yeah, I got a Cartier love ring and I love it. And oh, and it says pineapple on the inside. If you watched our like gingerbread decorate relationship Q&A thing, the first like question you ever asked me, I think, was like, does pineapple belong on pizza? And then we like went into the whole reason of like why I think it does or why I think people don't like it. So he got uh, pineapple engraved on the inside, which is mm -hmm. really cute. Yeah, okay. and that was like my opening pickup line and it worked. Yeah. So it's significant to us. Yeah, for sure. So pineapple. And then the last things are like stocking gifts. So Santa brought me this huge box of Sour Patch Kids. It has 12 boxes of like movie theater Sour Patch Kids and just like honestly a bunch of candy and some gift cards, a Chick-fil-A gift card, Starbucks gift card, and an Olive Garden gift card. <laughs> yeah, you got the gift cards. Yeah. Oh, I got Brian a gift card Wait, too. Wait, there's this thing too. She got me a nice thermos, mm -hmm. which is sweet. I needed one of these because I've been using like really old crappy ones. So this was really clutch. Um, great stocking gift, honestly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mine I think is just all candy and then a couple gift cards. So. Hey, you got some fruit. Oh, yeah. The classic fruit. fruit. I didn't know. He's like, wait, where's the fruit? But I had no idea I was supposed to put oranges in his stocking. Yeah, drop a comment if that's a tradition for any of you guys to put a piece of fruit, whether it's normally like an orange or a tangerine, at the bottom of the stocking. Or sometimes there's an apple, I guess. We always did oranges growing up. <laughs> Yeah, let us know. Drop a comment if that's something you guys did in your stockings or Santa did in your stocking. We always had like fruit trees in our backyard. Oranges, limes, lemons, blah, blah, blah. And so Santa would always grab one off of our tree outside and put it in the bottom of the stocking. Nice. Well, now I know. That's been like the funny thing about like blending our two like Christmas tradition things together is like, I don't know what his Christmas traditions are. And so like, he'll be like, oh, like what about this? And I'm like, I had no idea I was even supposed to do that. So it's been really fun. Another clutch stocking gift, yoga mat spray. I showed this in the video too. Did you? I'm glad you stopped watching my video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's actually from the Target Dollar Spot. There you go. Yeah, they had a lot of cool different In ones. In the Dollar Spot, that's weird. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, well, that is gonna be it from us. We hope you guys loved seeing what we got each other for Christmas. Nothing like, well, some crazy stuff. I was gonna say nothing too crazy, which isn't true, but yeah, like I said, this Christmas is definitely a little bit different, but it's been really special to be able to spend our first Christmas together, just the two of us. I don't think we'll ever have this opportunity literally ever again. Probably Because not. it'll just be like with family next year for sure, and then like a couple years after that with our own family, and it's just gonna keep getting crazier and crazier. So it's been really special to be able to just spend the Christmas with just the two of us. And it's just been really chill and nice with like wine and voov and food. And it's just been awesome. So hope you guys had a very, very Merry Christmas. Definitely let us know down below if you got like an awesome gift or your favorite gift you gave to somebody else. We would love to see that in the comments. But that is gonna be it from us. Definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and we will see you next time. Bye Merry guys. Christmas.